Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So I feel it is the longest time since I last sat down and talked to you guys in a sit down video. But today I'm doing that and the reason why I'm sitting down today and also the thing that I'm going to talk about today is the Swiper Sandals. I have done a comparison video between the Oran Sandals and the Swiper Sandals but I haven't done a full Cyper review so therefore I thought that I would do that today and also since the summer has been hitting us very fast here it is the perfect time to talk about sandals and yeah let's get into the video and if you're new to my channel my name is Malin and I do videos and vlogs about luxury fashion handbags and shoes and now quite recently my life in Paris so if that's something you like, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So yeah, I'm going to talk about the Cypress sandals today and what I think about them. I have a couple of pairs. I have the black ones and I have the shirling ones. I have two in shirling. I have the one in dusty pink and I also have the one in cream white. And here is the dusty pink. Uh, so I thought that this would be a review for both the shirling ones and also for the normal ones. So the first thing that we are going to talk about is the price. So the price is currently 635 euros for the normal ones. And for the shirling ones, I have the US price and it is 820. I don't have the US price for the normal ones, but I think they are a little bit less expensive because this is shirling. So that was the price. And it isn't that bad, but it is a little bit expensive for what they are. But I'm going to talk more about that later. So one of the biggest things with these sandals is the sizing. I have heard many people go up one size, half size and also go down one size and a half size. So the sizing is kind of like a mystery. For me, I have my Cypress sandals both in 39, 38 and a half. And I also have, I think it is 39 and a half. And for the sizing, I feel that they are running a little bit small. It depends on the model. Uh, because these, I have these in 29 and I also have another pair, the white ones are in 28 and a half and I feel that the 28 and a half pair is more suitable but these also fit but I think the most important part when it comes to the Cypress sandals is that they are fitting perfectly on your foot on these my heel is around here and on the ones that I have in 38 and a half. I don't have them here unfortunately because of the moving uh, but the ones that I have in 38 and a half I have my heel here and I can really feel the difference between the half size so I would strongly suggest you to go for the ones that are a little bit more snug here in the heel um, and my toes are basically here but I have also seen some people having Cypress sandals that are way too small that the heel is sticking out here and that cannot be comfortable. I also have the orange sandals, they are in 38 and my usual size is 38 and they are a little bit snug but that's how I like them. But I would suggest you to go for your orange sandal size or half size up, it depends on also which material the Cypress sandals are made out of. For example, the ones that are in Epson, they would be a little bit more stiff. And also the Sherling ones. I ordered these over the telephone, so I didn't have a chance to try them. And I think they were the only size that was left in the Cypress sandals with Sherling. And I just had to get them. And I would say for these, it doesn't matter that much on which size you are getting them in, because they are very comfortable. These will never give you blisters like the normal Cypress sandals can do because I have experienced that the Cypress sandals uh, have given me blisters especially here I think it is the cut here on the edge that irritates my skin on my foot and also I have heard that many people get blisters around here so that's also something to be aware of and also this uh, strap also can give you blisters I have also gotten blisters from this uh, I don't know how to prevent it because the strap is adjustable but it isn't that adjustable if it makes sense because you can see that the 
adjustments isn't that big. They are quite snug as you can see here. It doesn't go up that much. So when it comes to the fit, I feel that these are very comfortable on my foot. And also I like that they are a little bit wider than for example the orange saddles. They are a little bit more masculine because they are wider uh, and I wouldn't wear these with a very elegant dress because I think they don't well elevate the look. And also the sizes are from 34 to 42. And I've also seen some people getting the male cypher sandals if they have a little bit larger foot. But the edge on the men's cypher is a little bit different. This one is a little bit smaller. The cuts are a little bit different on the edge. The male version has a little bit larger edge. So that's also something to think about when you are looking to buy the male version. Cyper sandals instead of the female ones. And the uh, male Cyper sandals go from 41 to 47. So over to the pros and the cons about these Cyper sandals. I think uh, definitely a pro is that you have a big variety of different colors. Hermes are not discontinuing this type of shoe because they have made many new colors. They are in every season they are coming out with new colors and new materials like for example the shelling ones. Uh, before the shelling ones they also had the ones that were uh, semi shelling that they had suede on the outside and shelling inside. Uh, I still think they are producing them and they also have the normal cypher in suede and also in epson and I think this is box. So you have a big variety of different materials and also colors and as I said they are quite comfortable when you are first getting used to them and I feel that you don't need to break them in that much if they fit your foot. And another thing that I really like about these is that they are very easy to dress down. You can wear these with jeans, you can also wear them with skirts and not that elegant summer dresses. And you can also wear them with blazers, you can wear them with everything except for more formal clothing. Uh, because I don't think they will fit that. But I feel that they are a very good everyday shoe, especially in the summertime. If you are living in a warm country, you can get a lot of use from these ones because they are so easy to just slip on and you are good to go. Uh, and they are also comfortable with the sole. The sole isn't that hard compared to the orange. If you step on a stone with the orange sandals, you can really feel it under your foot. But with these ones, you cannot feel it. So that's also something that is very good with this. And also the sole is very much alike the Birkenstocks, which are ergonomically shaped for your foot. And also when it comes to the adjustment of the strap, I feel it is a little bit plus with that as well, because then you can adjust it if you need to do it a little bit, because some shoes are way too tight. But with these ones, you can adjust it a little bit if you need that. And over to the shelling ones, um, I feel it is mostly the same, but I also would like to mention since it is made out of shirling, they are very comfortable to walk in. Uh, I use mine for home slippers mostly because I don't want to get them too dirty. And also they are quite hot, so they are perfect for the winter. But there are some downsides about the cypher sandals. One of the major downsides about the cypher sandals is that they are very hard to get. They are extremely hard to get. In some places they can be even harder than a Birkin to get. And I remember that I waited for my first pair for one year. So it can unfortunately be very hard to get. But I would recommend you to check out the website because they are quite often on the website and I feel that the biggest chances on getting them is through the website or if you have an extremely good essay that will also help and also as I mentioned earlier they are not for formal wear for example the orange sandals I feel that they are a little bit more formal ish than the cyber sandals so that's one of the downsides so if you have a very preppy style I would not suggest you to get these ones then I would rather go for something like the orange sandals and in some cases they can be very uncomfortable to wear 
like for example I had another Cypher sandals pair that I needed to get rid of because they were so uncomfortable they gave me blisters every time and I feel that the major issue there was the sizing and also the stitching on the strap can irritate your skin so be aware of that so if you have a very easily irritated skin I would not go for this I think and now let's talk about the wear and tear uh, so mainly the wear and tear on the normal ones are the edge you can see some creasing here and also I have seen some sandals that the edge are going a little bit up like this and another thing that I have actually seen is that the strap will be like this um, but I don't understand why because these I have worn them so many times and mine are not like that at all <laughs> so I don't know what people are doing <laughs> because mine are completely fine when I walk around like this uh, so I don't know <laughs> and I don't feel there are some major wear and tears other than that of course the sole will be a little bit worn over time but I feel that it is the same case with every single shoe <laughs> and over to my shirling ones these have a little bit more wear and tear because of the shirling you can see for example that some of the shirling has gone off here you can see that the shirling get compromised on where you have your feet but other than that i feel that they look very good on after many wears because these i have worn them non-stop for almost a year um, because these are my everyday home slippers. I even use them when it is crazy hot outside because I think they are so comfortable. So other than that, I feel that it isn't the biggest wear and tear here. Also be careful with spelling, for example, things on them because of the shirling material, it, it's very hard to clean them. So here are my cypher sounds in black and here is what they look like on me. And these are in size 39. And over to my other cypher sandals, these are the shirling ones and these are in 39 and a half if I remember correctly. And as you can see they are running a little bit big, but that doesn't bother me because they are my home slippers and I prefer them to be a little bit on the bigger side so they get easier to slip on. So over to my thoughts about the cypher sandals, I would love to get more of these because I think the style is very chic and minimalistic and I just really love the design and it is very my style however I am going to be a little bit more careful when it comes to the sizing I would not necessarily say yes to another pair in 39 because they are a little bit on the bigger side especially for the normal cypers and yeah I really love them I think they are worth buying I like them more than the orange sandals because they are more comfortable to wear. I really like them and I would strongly suggest you to try them on before you are buying them. And also be careful when it comes to the sizing and try them out very well in the boutique before you buy them. And other than that, I feel that they are not going to go out of style anytime soon. So you cannot go wrong with them. And also because they are so hard to get, so the resale value seems to hold up pretty pretty well so if you buy a pair that you get blisters from you can always sell them so that was my mini review of the cyber sandals what do you guys think about them let me know in the comments i'm very curious to hear that as well i know that many of you guys don't like them because they are too bulky but let me know in the comments either way if you hate them or love them and thank you so much for watching if you're not done watching me yet here is another video and goodbye